another Living the Dream outdoor property. From a deer hunting standpoint, this is a very interesting 57-acre property in Pike County, Missouri. When you look at a property like this, a lot of times what you want to look at is the terrain. And you can see all the shadows up top to the north, northeast, northwest of this property. That represents a lot of the property that mature bucks like to bet in. And the reason that is, is they have advantages over the hunter from a flatland situation. And it's, it's, it's not complicated, but basically what it is, is when you look at, say there's a north wind. And with the topography, a deer can come out the bed on the end of this point here. Just drop off the crest of this point. Drop down just a little bit. He finds a flat spot with some back cover and some side cover. He's got a view of what's downhill that he can't smell. And if danger is approaching from behind him with a north wind, he can smell that before we can see him. Simply drops off the edges here and disappears. Now that same pattern, just for a north wind, repeats itself in a lot of different scenarios across the northern part of this property. When you couple that with the fact that south of this, of this topographical bedding is where most of the deer are going to spend their night, those are the agricultural row crops fields. They could go north as well, but we can't hunt those deer. The only ones that we have access over are these deer that are feeding on the agriculture down in the south. And what we're setting up for is a real pass-through property. The deer are going to bed primarily to the north. They're going to feed primarily to the south. Now what that means is they have to find a way to get from point A to point B. And if we have that way and we keep that safe, the deer are going to be feel real good about it. So we'll draw on these lines of contiguous cover, which is basically anywhere the deer can stay in cover and move in, in the security of cover. And there's multiple fingers of woods that the local deer herd can use to cruise from north to south and then south back to north. On a north wind, they'll come down here and feed in these ag fields at night, slip back to, up to these bedding areas. Are all the deer going to pass through our property? No. But if we create safe lines of cover through there, more deer will use that our part of the property more often to get back and forth. Now to really capitalize on this and make this work, since we know the deer want to bed north and they want to cruise to the south, we can add some food. And when we add the food, we want to work with those lines of cover that we're talking about. So we've got buildings here, got a line of contiguous cover through the trees, put a food plot right here. Easy access. Gives a good place the deer can just cruise and grab a snack before they go south. This line of contiguous cover here that travels way south, we can extend that line of cover coverage all the way to the north here. Put in a food plot, screen, screen. Secure cover traveling through there, ground line on both sides for different winds. Here's another area where we can finish that line of contiguous cover. What used to be an open spot through here, where deer had to pass through this open area and through this open area, we're creating structure through that area to bring those deer through there to give them the confidence to move through there during daylight. Another food plot, screens on the outside, ground blind, tree stand, tree stand. We're in good shape there too. So we're not, what we created for the months of September and October is kind of a pass through property based around that. Now during the rut, the bucks are you going to use those same lines of cover to go from block of timber to block of timber. If they want to get from this block of timber where the does are bedded down to these bigger blocks of timber where does might be bedded, we have a way for them to pass through our property. The other thing about it then is we can take some of the smaller areas of cover that we have. We don't have to go in here September and October. We don't have to go in here in September and October. What that does is it opens up areas for the doe groups to bet on our property and give these bucks that are cruising a reason to use our line of cover versus this line of cover. So it's a really neat 57-acre piece of property in Pike County, Missouri. For information on this property or more properties like it, contact livingthedreamland.com.